so I'm back at this again, trying to get this thing timed out. It's almost timed. I know it's not. You see, I gotta get this little dot to match with this guy right here. Time falls, go bizarre. You gotta turn over cheek. You wanna fall, you see the stars. You wanna hit with teeth. You wanna sign up a list. You wanna sign up a fish. You want it all to make them all. Baby, you got it. Fish, fish, baby, you got it. Fish, 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 and baby, you got it. Fish, trap with me on until the next morning. Baby, you got it. Fish, 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 baby, you got it. Fish, you wanna feel financial protection, but baby, you got it. Confused. And these two to match with those two. And then the crank sprocket to match with that. So I've been sitting here spinning this thing for, it's my second day doing this now. So, um, after about 25 turns, I think I've got it timed out. So, this right here, you see this line? Okay, basically on the VQ35DE, just a regular DE, they state that this little hole is supposed to be pointed up. This little line is supposed to be pointed up. This little line on this side is supposed to be pointed up. And this hole on this side is supposed to be pointed up as well as the crank sprocket has to be aligned with the actual thing i put it off just a little bit i don't know why um i've seen it online i'm doing that blah, blah, blah. what is this right here up oh, up oh, we have pieces of the gallery gasket okay look it's seeping through right here okay so we're definitely going to tackle that as well as the lines being pointed up, this yellow indication has to be on there. And this yellow indication has to be on there. These two, line, these two um, horizontal lines gotta be down there. And then the two dots gotta be down facing this way. And then the crank, crank spark is supposed to be like that. So this thing is aligned. Top down center, did it. To get to this point is 100% easy. It's really not hard at all. Honestly, all I did was I took off, removed all the bolts first, and I used all this without using no, no torch or any type of crazy ass tools that you don't have access to, No none of that extra shit. Look at my front timing co cover. I didn't even remove the water pump entries and the chain tensioner doors. I kept them on there, you know what I'm saying? Just. Killing off a lot of myths, stuff that you gotta do. They also said that you gotta remove your lower oil pan. I find that hard to believe because my lower oil pan is still, as you can see, attached. I have not detached it from the motor, it's still sitting on there, and I'm gonna be able to do the oil pump without removing the oil pan at all. All I'm gonna do is just drop it down from the bottom because the lower oil pan is removed. All you gotta do is remove the lower oil pan. You do not have to remove the upper oil pan. You can get access to everything that you need by just removing one oil pan. So now, first things first, you crack open this crank shaft pulley. And the way how you do it, the easiest way that I found. That big. Huh, or did I run over it? What the flip? I'm gonna watch this video back like, you dummy. Let's pretend this bolt was, this crank pulley was on the actual motor. 
this is how you would get it out. So you can't really stick a wrench straight through because there's gonna be a fucking motor right here. So this floor is a good representation of what you do. So basically, let's pretend it was like just right there, right? So this is what you do. You take your wrench and you just kind of barely snug it in like that, but do it in an angle to where you have access to the bolt. And once you snug it up in there and it's secured, it's gonna latch onto some part of the front face of the motor. It's not gonna allow you to keep spinning this thing with this wrench inside here. It's gonna lock it up. With it locked up, just use a breaker bar, bro. And you'll get the crank pulley bolt off. It's worked like a charm for me every single time. And I've done one, two, three motors. All right, so I think the reason why people turn it up a little bit like 180 is because when you go to crack this cranky crank pull I say cranky crack the crank pulley is gonna turn just a little bit so that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be actually just wiggle this guy out or you Alright y'all, so I'm here trying to, you know what I'm saying, what do, what do they call that? Uh, go against the myths that they talking about? I don't know exactly what, what, what it is, the proper term for it. But I was told, or I've seen everybody saying that you can't remove, don't remove this tensioner. I don't understand why. They said, I mean, once the motor is, pretty much in my opinion, once the motor is completely timed out, and it's good to go, you can remove the chain. You can take the chain off. So what is really the holdup? Why can't you do what it is that you, you wanna do? Like what's, what's stopping you from, I'm not gonna replace this. I mean, I thought, I thought I was gonna remove this. I'm not even gonna do it. I can't even, I don't have a T50. I did, but I don't know what I did with it. As you can see, all this stuff everywhere, not too organized, but yeah, I don't know what I did with that. So. I'm not gonna remove this, even though they say that you're supposed to. I've seen a few videos telling you that you gotta remove this. You don't have to remove that. I've taken this motor apart a couple of times and every time that I've done it, this little slidey, this little, what they call it, the guide, it rotates, you know? So what I did was I unloosened one of these bolts. Um, I took the top chain, top guide chain, the guide tensioner off. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attempt to remove the water pump, which may not be as easy as I thought about it. Unless you got this little trusty tool we like to call the crowbar. Something I've been looking for for a while. So you take this. Oh my lord. Take this. That. I'm attempting to get this off while I'm online. Well, while I'm recording. Look, get the chain out the way. But now the chain is literally in the way. So. That out the way. Now, first things first, let me get me a 12. It's not supposed to be this damn hard, you know? It's really supposed to just come right off. Um, oh, I did that. I just moved the chain out the way. That always works, you know? And then. I can't get a good, oh my gosh. I done took the chain off. 
Well, it's definitely one way to do it. Shit, until shit starts falling apart. You know, that always works. It never fails. So, I will get back to y'all when I get this stupid water pump out. <laughs>